Konnichiwa and welcome everybody back to Chrono Reviews. It's time for another Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom review and this time is the blind packs of mini dinos. And just remember, when you watch this review, I will have watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom on the cinema just the day before. Just the problem that I record this review before and upload it now. So basically I have seen the movie, but as of this recording, I have not seen the movie. Cinemaception. Well, in any case, let's go into the details on those figures. I've been collecting those a few at a time while buying other dinosaurs in order to pile up a little bit. And I think I got 12 of them now, and I think that's quite a decent number to get at least a few different ones to review and show to you what to expect from them. So it will not be the full lineup because I don't think I'm that lucky. There might be a few doubles and all of that, so I'm just going to open them up like one hell of a gacha game and get the dinosaurs and show you what to expect from those blind packs. So starting off, let's check the bags themselves. Let's take one of the more flat ones. They look like this. I think it's a nice layout. There's the volcano, and then there's the egg art from the first Jurassic World. And in the back there's just a lot of text. Maybe it could be cool if they had like pictures of what you could get in the bags to make the kids easier for the kids to know what they are buying. I mean, this does not show too clearly that's a mini toy inside. So a picture of a toy would have been appreciated, but overall it's a nice layout. And I, I do agree with a lot of other reviewers saying that it would be cooler if there was actual eggs, plastic eggs, maybe with the barcode like in Jurassic World. Uh, a plastic egg that you can open up and get, receive a dinosaur. Sure, you cannot squeeze them to feel what's inside, but it would be cooler to have those eggs. But Buying a lot of them, there would be a lot of eggs, so maybe a bag is better in a way. Everything has ups and downs. Overall, this is quite a nice package in any case. And you can sort of squeeze out. So, okay, let's do a little game here. I'm going to guess what dinosaur this package is. And then I'm going to start opening them up. Alright, let's see here. There is this one is hard. Hmm. There's two different lumps in here. I'm not sure what that is. Here maybe it's a dinosaur. It's hard to tell. That's really hard to tell. The head is a little bit... I think the head is... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> yeah, I can, can't make a clear decision here, but it felt like there was some sort of uh, spiky head, so let's, let's say Stigumolok. Stigumolok, that's the guess. Now let's open it up and see what's actually inside, see if I'm totally off or not. Oh, a Dilophosaurus! So it's like... They have like those plastic parts that makes it... harder sometimes. So it's like packaged like this, but it has fallen off, so I felt double parts. Right. Let's see what... Here we have what you can get. So it's a T-Rex, Apatosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Velociraptor, Velociraptor Blue, Parasaurolophus, Stegomoloch, Pteranodon, and Baryonyx. I think I remember there was more when I saw them online on pictures and previews, but maybe it's just that uh, there's a wave 2 or something, or this is just samples. And those ones seem to be exclusive to the 
free packs, the transparent Indominus Rex and some other variant of the T-Rex. Alright, let's check this out. I think it looks quite cool. It's got a lot of details. So for us, such a small figure I think it's really nice actually. But let's get more into detail once I... Okay, let's put them to the side until I get more space on this table in front of me. So... Let's continue to open them up until everyone is out of the package and then I will look into detail on the figures themselves. Right, the Velociraptor. The green one. And it have, it have very wide legs. You can move the legs. Maybe you can bend them to stay inwards more. Maybe they just been like that in the package. Let's open the next one. I was so afraid it was another dinosaur when I saw the green tail, but it actually wasn't. Oh, tri Triceratops! That's actually one of the mi mini dinos I wanted to get because it looks really nice. It feels so big compared to the Dilophosaurus. It's so thin compared. Hmm. It's actually quite decent size on this one. Let's continue. Oh, Ankylosaurus. This one's pretty nice too. It has the same color scheme as the Ankylosaurus in the Aurora Wars. Let's see what's in this one. Oh! Baryonyx! Hmm, this one's nice. Right. It's really hard to squeeze out some of them. It's, it's hard to know what you get. Stegosaurus! Nice! So far, no doubles. And that's appreciated. I feel some dino part there, so let's not accidentally cut the dinosaur. Oh, a Patosaurus! This one felt a lot smaller in the mass compared to the Triceratops. It would be cool if like the, the sauropods were like super massive for being mini dinos. Let's see. I think I'm halfway through. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, I'm, I'm a little bit more. Right, the first double. Here's another Apatosaurus. Better on mind. Her herbivores are actually nice to have multiples because you can build herds and stuff. Let's see what it is. It's, this is one of the harder ones because there's some. Ooh, Parasaurolophus. That's nice. Three to go. Let's see what we can get out of this. Maybe. Oh! Blue! Here's blue. So it's basically the same sculpture as the green raptor, but it have a different color. So, two more to go. Maybe with luck we can get Right, here it is! The Stiggy Moloch. Here we have Stiggy. The last one. Will we get a double or will we get another new one? Let's see here. Ah, it's another green Velociraptor. Well, at least blue get a pack. Now, let's check the details on these little mini dinos. Let's start off with the uh, Dilophosaurus, since it was the first one I opened up. I must say, 
they are actually pretty nice for the size. The Dialo was a bit of the smaller, thinner side compared to the others that actually were a little bit bigger. So they did consider slightly size of the creatures when sizing those as well. The sculptures are pretty accurate, I must say. I mean, the teeth are not painted, but the eyes are painted. There's a little bit of shading wash in the uh, on the skin and the body. So it's actually they're quite nice, and they even have brighter underbelly, something that even the attack packs sometimes do not have. And there's a little Jurassic World logo underneath the foot as well. The frill is red. The back side of the frill is not painted, but that's fine. They're a little bit hard to have standing, but I think with a little bit of hot water and then cold water you can rearrange the legs. I think they're a bit deformed probably after being inside the package for so long. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. So let's check out the raptor. So the raptors actually have articulated legs. The Dilo had articulated neck. The raptor have articulated legs but not the neck. So the eyes are painted on the raptor as well. The claws are not painted but the underbelly is painted. It's a slightly darker on the back and the eyes are painted. I think that if you readjust the legs slightly then it looks a little bit better. The details are pretty nice on those as well. This raptor have its chest painted higher up compared to this raptor. The paint job on the chest is slightly lower. But that's probably the mass produced. It varies because it's mass produced. So let's check out blue while we're at the raptors. And this blue actually have painted underbelly which not the attack pack don't even have. The eye are painted and there's the blue stripe. So I think blue looks pretty nice. Then let's check out the Apatosaurus. I think this one is actually pretty nice. It have a lot less color variation. It's slightly darker shaded gray on the back here and here and a slightly dry brushed highlight sort of of brighter gray. Otherwise it's pretty dull but they are grey in the movie so no complaints. And the neck is articulated on the Apatosaurus and just like with the others it's bendable. It makes it sturdy so kids can play with them a lot. And I think there's no more. This one I'm slightly darker here. So there is a little bit of mass produced variation among them and that's pretty nice because it gives them character. Then let's check out the Ankylosaurus. It's pretty much like the no not the attack pack, I mean the Roar of Wars version that will come out in wave 2 and it have articulated tail. It's quite stiff but I think you can soften it up to move yeah there we go. Iconic. And brighter underbelly on this one too actually. That's a pretty nice job. So it's quite green and grey, not much special, but I think it looks decent and cool. Now let's check out the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is brown. I think they are more green in the movie, like the action attack version, but darker. But it still looks nice. It's brighter on the belly, it has green plating, and the tail is articulated. I like this stego, it's nice. And then let's check out the Baryonyx. I think this is my favorite out of the 
theropods that I've got in this set because it looks so clean it's nicely posed, it stands really well I like the darker blue on the back and it actually has an articulated jaw it's very soft but it's nice I really like this Baryonyx and then we have the Parasaurolophus I think this color is based on the Lost World and that's nice it have an articulated head so it seems like if the legs are articulated the head is not and if the head is articulated the legs are not so those do not have articulated legs like the raptors had but the heads are instead articulated so I think, I think it's is um, just as I said mini action dino it is a they have articulation so it's like mini action figures but it's limited to one point of articulation per dinosaur and I think they choose the most iconic part of each dinosaur but this one's pretty nice, it's nice to see that Parasaurolophus back I would like to see it in the Roravors or something because having a bigger one to scale with the humans and now lastly my favorite the Triceratops this trike looks gorgeous I mean I love it in detail is really accurate it's a solid block of plastic but it's slightly bendable the horns are painted and the eyes are painted and it have a nice darker green shade on the back it really looks clean it looks really really nice so out of the ones I've got in this set the Triceratops wins it for me it's it's really nice it's, I love it and what I like about those dinosaurs is that you can trade them with friends I, I see them a bit as cheap action figures mini figures that you can buy for a cheaper cost and trade with friends I mean imagine a kid going out like he get a few bucks from his mom like get out with your friends go and buy ice cream whatever you want for those those money and the kids go into the toy store and they they buy a few of those each maybe they get doubles and they tra trade with each other I mean one maybe want a T-Rex but it does not get a T-Rex one might want these Triceratops and they get something else and then they can trade with each other they can trade their doubles they can play with them and all that so I think I think it's this type of figure have its charm and it's a nice side collectible I mean the main collection is the main dinosaurs the bigger ones so basically I'd say those are a nice bonus a nice extra to collect just like I did I bought, I bought like two maybe three each time I bought something else at the store and ended up getting 12 in the end this might not be the, the only ones I get but I wanted to have a decent amount for doing a review to give you a, an overview of them so let's just do a simple comparison here is Owen and here is Blue so they're, they're quite small they are not super small but they are small let's also compare here is baby blue that came with Owen so let's compare it to this blue so this one is like it, it actually works as a juvenile teenage blue and that's quite nice actually and then there's these raptors so I got a little pack for blue I mean I really like I like this uh, it's it's a nice thing and it's enjoyable and they're not that expensive so you can just buy a few and enjoy it so now before I conclude this review let's do the fun part and now the moment you all have been waiting for it's time to feed the T-Rex again this colossal is never full Rexy she has such a big appetite and before stuffing her up with my mini dinos that I doubt is enough to fill her totally but I will give her what I have first off I need to complement the other section of the review 
by my little mistake. I actually forgot to show you Stiggy in detail. The Stiggy Moloch Stiggy, which I suppose have some part in the movie that's important since she's named Stiggy. This one is also quite nice. And her articulation is the head. She does not have a brighter underbelly, but instead she have multicolored head. So the dome is bright and then there's brown and there's a darker on the back and she's orangey brownish and she looks pretty good. So being first Stiggy means you're eaten first. Rang. There goes Stiggy. So let's get the raptors in. Here's the first green raptor, the second green raptor and Blue need to follow her pack down the wrecks. And then let's see a Parasaurolophus. I think they were eaten by T-Rexes in the Cretaceous in real life back in the days like many many million years ago. And there's a Dilophosaurus and we have the Baryonyx. And then some something that's quite hard for the stomach but the Ankylosaur needs to go. And the Apatosaurus it should be stuffed by just one Apatosaurus, but she eats two! And some more spikes in the belly with the Stegosaurus. And sorry Triceratops, you're my favorite, but you still need to go. There we go! So, what can I say about these mini dinos? They are actually pretty nice, and I must say Overall, the herbivores wins it. Usually carnivores are the more attractive ones to collect and play with because they are cooler and they eat stuff and they are horrifying, they are dangerous. But herbivores are cool too. I really like Triceratops and Stegosaurus, etc, etc. And because of the proportions, I actually think that the, in the mini dinos, the herbivores wins it. Especially the Triceratops, because since they stand on four legs, the feet are not oversized and all that. So, all of them are nice, but the herbivores are actually my favorites. Especially Triceratops, I keep saying that a lot. But overall, I can highly recommend them. As I said earlier, it's good trading figures. They are decent detail and paint jobs for their, their size and price. So, I think... I, I actually do recommend them. If you want to collect something in between the main waves, I'm not sure when wave 2 hits for the attack packs and roar wars, but they're, they're nice compliments and if you have the colossal T-Rex, it's fun to like just put them in there. So I hope you enjoyed this review. So until next time, take care and sayonara!